Are you a perfectionist? Are you trying to do everything perfect? Hmm, this video is all about overcoming perfectionism. Because perfectionism is not a healthy habit. It is not about growing and developing yourself. It is not about being the best of you. No. So what is perfectionism and how can you overcome it? That's what this video is all about because I want to help you to create the life that you desire, to create the life, to live it to the fullest, a life of fulfillment, just like the life I am living and I created for myself and I'm helping my clients to create it for them as well. If you like this video, then please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little red button right below because I'm creating new videos every single week. And this is about perfectionism because I have so many clients that come to me and that it starts off with, yeah, but you know, I, 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 I am not good enough and, and, and I need to do it perfectly. And I, and wait, 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 let's talk about perfectionism. What is it and how can you overcome it? And that's why I created these five ways to overcome it and to make sure that you are more in peace and more aligned with yourself and that you can live your life to the fullest without the stress of being perfect. What is perfectionism? It's a shield to protect yourself against the fear of failure, against the fear of judgment. So it's a shield to protect yourself against certain fears that you have inside of you. Perfectionism lives and breathes in the fear of making a mistake. What are some examples of perfectionism? You write a very simple short email of maybe two sentences long and you spend so much time reading it and reading it and reading it over again because you want to email in a perfect way. Or you focus a lot on the end goal and the end result that you miss out the whole process, the whole fun of the process towards that goal. You are frustrated when you miss out two items in a list of 10. You want to research something or give an answer and you just spend hours and hours and maybe days on researching because you need to know every single detail. Or something that a lot of people recognize is you see everything in black and white. It's yes or it's no. It's, 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 it's bad or it's good. It's, you know, it's done or it's not. It's like there's no gray area at all because everything is black and white. I'm good, I'm bad. I'm, I'm, I'm looking good, I'm looking bad. It's like spending hours grooming and styling yourself because you want to, everything needs to be perfect. So let's dive into five ways to overcome that perfectionism and to live life to the fullest and enjoy your life. Number one, stop seeing everything in black or white. It's not just about black or white. There is a gray area. It's not about all or nothing. So I want you to challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to find that gray area in between. Instead of yes or no, good and bad, everyone makes mistakes and that is okay. If you wanted to do something and you didn't get it done, you know, it's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. If you ate a whole bag of chips or cookies last night, it's okay. You don't have to feel guilty the whole week because you ate the whole bag and you couldn't stop yourself. You're a human being. Human beings make mistakes and making mistakes is actually good for your growth and your development. Without mistakes, you don't learn. You don't learn. So make mistakes and be happy to make mistakes and fail and crawl back up. So let it go for a little bit. See and challenge yourself to find that gray area. Realize that everyone makes mistakes and move on. Eat a bag of chips and move on. Let go of that guilt. Number two, are you the person using the words, I should, and I must do that, and I should do that, and I must, and I should, and I should. You're pushing yourself all the time and you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Why don't you change that a little bit? 
change the vocabulary a little bit. Instead of I should and I must, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm going to try to finish it. I want to do this, not I must and I should. I want to. So change your vocabulary. Don't be so hard on yourself. Number three, make your own decisions. Make your own decisions. Why is this so important? Because being a perfectionist, somewhere in between lays some insecurity. Like I mentioned, it's a sense of, it's a shield to protect yourself from the fear of making a mistake and making a failure. So what do a lot of perfectionists do? They ask somebody else's opinion. They ask somebody else's judgment, approval sort of, and then that comes on to you. But what happens is that other people's decisions, other people's suggestions could be fear that, that they project on you. But if you always base your self-worth and your value on other people's opinion, you're not making your own decisions. So this is your life. Own your life and own your decisions. And being a perfectionist, don't try to do good for everyone and, and, and be perfect to everyone and make yourself influenced by other people's opinion. Don't and stop giving a damn of other people's opinion. Own your life, make your decisions. Means this will make you more confident and less of a perfectionist. It's all good. <laughs> Number four, this is a fun one. Mess up on purpose. I want you to make a mess on perfect. No, seriously, I want you to try and be less perfect in very simple daily things. If you, uh, let's see, if you go to, um, if you have daily routine instincts, if, if you are, if you always wake up and always make up your bed so that your bedroom looks beautiful, why don't you mess up a bit and don't make it look so pretty and perfect and, and don't make up your bed for one day. Just, just these simple things to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect and the world will not, you know, explode. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I want you to try it in simple things. Okay. I don't want you to mess up a big project. No, but try it in your daily life. If you're used to always do something a certain way, try to mess it up a bit. Try to do it a bit differently so that it's not as perfect as always. Try to, um, yeah, decorate a bit differently or, or, or finish a, a paper a bit differently. Or if you're making a presentation and you change up the color just a bit, so it's not perfectly consistently. If the font is not perfectly consistently, do it, just do it on purpose. Number five, take on a new hobby, anything. Try play an instrument, do something with music, go in a dance class or knitting or painting or drawing or anything, but just try a new hobby. Why? Because if you do something completely new, you start off at the beginner's level and at a beginner's level, everybody makes mistakes, right? So you will learn again to make mistakes and it's okay. It's okay that when you are new to something, you can't be perfect to everything, right? So yeah, take on something new, be in that beginner's level and then also pay attention to the process of learning. Not always like, oh, I need to finish this and it has to look perfect, but enjoy the process of learning no matter what it is a drawing or a painting or, or, or something, a task, but enjoy the process. That are the five hacks, but there is a big bonus. And the big bonus is make peace with now. Make peace with the present moment before you're satisfied or not satisfied with the future. Always come back to now, the present moment, if you always keep on going your eyes and you just keep going, you just keep focusing and put your eyes on that end goal. You're not appreciating the now you're not appreciating the present moment and life goes by and you're not living your life to the fullest. And that's so sad. 
I know what I'm talking about because I used to be a perfectionist and I know it comes from my background and I know it comes from my dad and he's still a perfectionist and it stressed me out so much because I wanted to be perfect and it just it takes so much time and it puts so much pressure on yourself and I even burned out and I realized wait a minute why I'm not I was never enjoying the present moment I was never enjoying the now because I always wanted more and more and more and to be perfect and perfect and perfect and perfect it's an illusion it's an illusion there is no such thing as being perfect who is perfect what is perfectionism what is it to you you're doing it to yourself and you're not enjoying the present moment so try to be more present in the now enjoy the now enjoy what's around you look around you enjoy the present so try these five hacks enjoy it comment below let me know your thoughts i want to know your thoughts can you let go of your perfectionism and if you have more hacks and tips let me know i always look forward to the comments below also there's resources below this video you can find freebies and things to help you get unstuck and let me know in the comment what your thoughts are and your big takeaways i look forward to see you in the next video and remember i make a lot of videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to my channel hit that red button and the little bell next to it so that i can see you again very soon actually next week in my next video thank you bye